Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are joined once again by Michael Danger Magus. I'm at a very special location today. We're going to start things off on a very different note from what we have been doing. However, I just rested for it to become daytime and I got a letter that had some very important information in it. So much so that I rolled back my save to make sure that we could capture the very moment that it happened. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demogai statue... Lumos. ...the booms contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. Piers I don't Pemberton. think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demigai's moons. He's yes, he does. Apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. So we've been really focused up on getting those Demigai statues so we can unlock every single lock in the game. And mission was accomplished, but Groundskeeper Moon was still trying to find who placed those there because he thinks it's intentional to terrorize him. Well, the plot thickens. Let me show you where we are on the map right now to get things started. We are south of Hogwarts, kind of in this western outgrove in the Feldcroft region. I flew down here because of one very specific building, but you'll notice that there are poachers and bandits everywhere in this Western area. There's also the Rookwood Castle with an infamous foe housed inside of it. And we've never fought anything like that before. So this seems to be the Wild West, so to speak, of the Hogwarts region. I mean, there might also be other places that are just as gnarly as this one. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like it's very well policed at the very least. So I wanted to start things off by attacking a very difficult enemy that we've only encountered one other time. If you're looking at my current active quest, then you already have a pretty good idea. There's a troll nearby. Oh, and there he is. I see him moving around already. We're in the disillusionment stance. He can't see us. My goodness gracious. Oh, it doesn't appear that he is alone either. With some loyalist warriors on the road here. Let me see if I can get their attention. I'll attack there, and then we'll try to come up behind them with Petrificus Totalis. You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. <laughs> I wish I could have learned more about that mushroom stew. Now, I don't think we're going to be that lethal against the troll at all, but I am going to try to still get in close. Probably want to use... Does he have a weapon? I'll probably stick to this hot bar then. So this is a river troll. Oh, I can Petrificus, but it just deals damage. He's only going to be stunned. So that'll give you an idea of how much health this guy actually has. Whoa, I'm going to go this way, bud. Now, river trolls, I guess trolls in general, oh my god, have a very sought-after ingredient for alchemy. Expelliarmus didn't do anything. Oh, I'm going to try ancient magic again. That was too close. I'm over here. He is kind of getting beaten up. Expelliarmus literally not doing anything. Okay, okay, we're fine. Incendio is a little too far. Perfect block again. Just hit him with the spells. We're good. Out of the way. I gotta get in close. Incendio into a stun. Confringo. Okay. One less foul hulking brute. Okay. Yeah, he was a very, very difficult enemy. Yes. So, troll bogies are what we need for crafting. And that's significant because those make invisibility potions. Something I've been able to purchase before, but something I've never been able to craft. Now, I might have to head back to the room of a... What is going on over here? Looks like some wolves and goblins fighting. I might have to, have to head back to the room of requirement just to do a little crafting really quick. But I want to use one of those invility, invisibility potions against our enemies here in this field. I mean, they're clearly up to no good. 
Hey, what me. happens if I just, you know, Levioso. pick you up and then push you into the ocean? <laughs> Wait, is he still kicking? I can't. Are you alive? Hello? The reason we went out to get this, by the way, is because it's for our alchemy quest. Our professor wanted us to use invisibility potion, craft one and make one, or I guess just acquire. Any way we got it would have been fine. And they also wanted us to use a thunder brew potion on some enemies. These two together seem like they would be a very potent combination. And I know a perfect place to try them out. Okay, I'm gonna land right here. It doesn't seem like anyone's really watching this side of the tower. Disillusionment. And this is what we are after. So, the invisibility potion should be better than our disillusionment charm. I'm gonna drink it now. Not the best place for an unaccompanied. And then we're immediately going to equip this thunder brew and use that now as well. If I get close to these enemies. <laughs> yes! Oh, I can't block those. Well, the invisibility potion didn't do me too many favors. What? Oh, I stopped walking. The lightning is certainly getting the job done. I'm just gonna throw some AOEs in here as well. Get rid of that guy's shield. Sorry, what was that loyalist sentinel? I didn't hear you. Get down here right now. Shame on you using the high ground. You've been paying attention. Sorry, what was I paying attention to? I couldn't hear you over your death. <laughs> well, that was easy. That worked really well. We we killed the enemy. He was in this group. The marker on the map is gone. And now we can continue our alchemy studies, more importantly. Oh, I didn't drink my invisibility potion. <laughs> I think I drank an, a, a Duras potion. I did notice I had some stone skin in that fight. Whoopsie daisy. Well, no yes. harm, no foul. We'll just chug it now. Uh, Professor Sharp, did you up security here or something? Uh, let me finish that thought. I was mostly thinking of like health potions and the, you know, the apologies potion to change your shape, but I never thought about the raw offensive power of a potion that could call down lightning on my foes like that. That was pretty have you impressive. finished your assignments? Uh, yes, Professor Sharp, I have finished my assignments. I've been a good student. Please give points to Hufflepuff. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. What does that mean? What? It all went perfectly well. I mean, I just used the invisibility potion like two seconds ago, but that's okay. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you, I want to make sure you're well prepared. I appreciate that, Talent Professor. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. I agree, sir. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. What's Defindo? Wand at the ready. I do find it weird that he's teaching me potion. He's teaching me spells and not more potions. Paying attention. Uh, I'm just running through this as fast as I can. Almost didn't make it through. Defindo's another red spell. Okay. What does it do for me? Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would Lumos. encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Yes, sir. Is that what your little target dummy over here is for? So, Defindo. Slashage objects and enemies from afar, dealing considerable damage. So this isn't like... A, a fire spell like a lot of our other red ones are. This just seems hey, like it does. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Yes, sir. I'm a very good student, and I've noticed you still haven't given any points to Hufflepuff because of that. That seems counterintuitive. So I wonder if you could do something like we're getting into too many bars for this, but like pull a target to me, lift them up, and then. Uh, 
As I slice them out of the air. The can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing. Incendios. Oh, sorry, sir. I just let everything on fire since you didn't give me any points. I'm sure you won't take any away, right? Really nice. Now, because we hit level 22, we do have a very special thing we can do now. We can make it so Petrificus Totalis is an AoE ability, making our stealth entrances even more potent. And when you consider we've maxed out stealth entirely and we have level three of Alohomora, Michael Magus really is pretty good about getting into places unseen. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Whoa. Okay. Oh, there's a big ladder that came down. When I got to the top of the staircase, we're attending our first divination class. I don't know how I've gone through this much of the school year without going to one of my mandatory classes, but yeah, it's just like when I was in high school. Nice card. What does it mean? Oh, God, the broom girl's here. Ugh. What do you see in your future? That's what this is about, right? Divination? Oh, that now we're talking. Crystal balls? Hello? Oh, she sees something intently. I see a good thumbnail in my future. Oh, what do you see in your tea leaves? You don't see a hound, right? I hope I don't see a hound. <laughs> We do have field guide to pick up here. This standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which the model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or likely to die in a fortnight. Just like all other fortunes. Oh, that is pretty cool to see though, actually. I like that a lot. For the record, there was one of those demigod statues in this very room, but I already gathered it for our earlier quest. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. Yes, I appreciate you giving me remote work before I even enrolled in your class. What every student wants. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? Uh, so I do believe that she did give me tasks to do outside of the classroom. I think we're just referring to the montage that we just watched, though. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I see triumph, I see danger, danger, I see power. I'm not sure. I see a lot of danger in Michael Magus' future. <laughs> I can't get rid of this feeling of a coming danger. I see. Know that such omens are not damning if they can at least prepare us. And you are preparing yourself even now. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. In a way, your magic towards doesn't your she shape my future by being my teacher who gives me grades? She has a lot of power in my life. So this is Descendo. Uh, we get that just for attending class. If I had to guess, it pulls people down into the dirt. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Practice the new spell on the training dummy. Well, the class cleared out quickly, didn't they? 
Uh, does this mean that I should just have a red bar with Expelliarmus on it and then put Descendo here? I have a levitation bar. <laughs> so I to to review, I can pull a target to me. I can push them away. I can levitate them, and now I can de-levitate them. Think you have it. If that was me, I would be throwing up. I have the worst motion sickness. I don't think I could put up with literally any of this. It would be terrible. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test. R Roger that. She wants me to leave. I feel like I was just getting to know you. Message heard. We also have a quest from Madam Kagawa, I believe. The person who was teaching us a bit of flying. She's put brooms up around the Quidditch pitch that we need to pop. This should be very straightforward. It does feel like I'm actually attending a day at school today, though, and I gotta say, I quite enjoy just completing my tasks. If we finish this, we're going to learn yet another spell, and it's very different from a lot of the other offensive ones that we have learned. Uh, oh, come, come on, take it! Come on, Michael. There's one more here somewhere. We just have to find it. Right behind this tower here. So that's halfway done. The other one is at Hogsmeade Station. Is that where the train comes in? Oh, it definitely is. That's the bridge where they approach. And this is where everyone catches the Hogsmeade Express, the Hogwarts Express. It goes to platform nine and three quarters. Oh, I missed that balloon. <laughs> well, three of the balloons were very easy Revelio. to spot. Luckily for us, Revelio just lets us cheat away all of our problems. Oh, there's one behind the tree. You see what I mean? Makes it super easy. And where's the last one? Maybe super easy was called a little too soon. It does seem like the area around this is quite large. It could be potentially down. Oh, there it is. Nailed it. Brilliant. Oh, what a landing, actually. Looks like her classroom or uh, whatever this is, is right here. Oh, with those tasks those are the quidditch balls oh i did great on the task thank you so much for giving it to me i love this remote work madam kagawa i completed the list of tasks you assigned wonderful i trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process i did ma'am yes professor that's good to hear keep it up and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the quidditch team if black ever permits quidditch again well with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Glacius. Yes, Can our new spell. To your wand work. This, wow, this is a, it's a mountain peak. <laughs> this is an offensive spell that uses ice to defeat our enemies. The bitter freezing cold. It's a yellow spell as well. Interesting. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Yes, ma'am, of course. I am constantly running out of hot bars. So, Glacius, let's see what it's like. Glacius, there you go. Catching on quickly. I do kind of like the idea that we can use this as an alternative form of Let crowd control to our levitate. Glacius. I think it's learned its lesson, <laughs> but do continue to practice as long as you I like. I thought his head came off. Anesthesia is a powerful learning tool. Alohomora. Uh, just uh, not picking this lock right behind you, Madam Kagawa. I would never do anything that would possibly hurt Hufflepuff and their chance for winning. Uh, make sure, because I did so good on my studies, make sure uh, points to Hufflepuff, right? Okay. We have one more quest from Professor Garlic this time. He wants me to acquire a venomous tentacula as well as a mandrake that she wants me to use on our enemies. Now, we already saw just how powerful those mandrakes can be, but I'm really not sure where to acquire these things other 
than our green thumb friend oh, right here. It. And potentially he sells me some seeds for them. But no, that doesn't look like it's happening. I do need some of these though. Thank you, my now, dude. You let me it looks like on the map there is another store kind of north of that guy that also sells plants. I've never been inside of it before. I th think it's this right here. Looks kind of gnarly. There's also a lot of smoke out today, so maybe it's just hard. Does it get any to more cozy than hell? Oh, I definitely saw a book above you. Revelio. There has to be a field guide. Dogweed and death cap. Yeah, I've definitely never been in here before. Uh, hello? Well, it's kind of dark in here. Lumos. Let's have you leave here alive. This reminds me of... Ooh, hello. Kind of reminds me of like a... To be reckoned with a hag's hobble. All the or of like D&D &D or something. Um, excuse me, I wasn't Actually, listening to a thing you said. I saw this chest. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm going to use those 500 galleons in the store probably. Hello, ma'am. Beatrice. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm I, no I heard you the first up. time. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. All right. Uh, may I see your wares? What do you have for sale? She seems like she's going through a crisis, and I just walked into the middle of it. Okay, so we do have Venomous tin Tintacula. That's 600 gold. Oh, my God. Can I grow them instead? There's chomping cabbage seeds, mandrake seeds, and these seeds. So we unlock the ability to grow them. This is wildly expensive, but you know, that's what money's for, right? Well, I'll just take a couple of these and I'll be on my way. Thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. Yeah, it feels good to make a wise purchase. Uh, Madame, uh, I just remembered Beatrice. I'm sorry. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to run away really fast. You kind of give me the creeps. Heading back towards the Wild West where we were before, if we zoom in, there is a medium bandit camp right on top of this hill. This seems like a perfect place to try out some of our new plants just to see how effective they are. Now, remember, I do have to use the Mandrake on multiple enemies at once, and I don't have any hearing protection, so it might beat me up too, but let's not be shy. Hello? Please gather around. Yeah. Oh, just stun him. He's okay. He doesn't know. You guys are fine. I should warn you. I will Oh, just stun him. He's fine. Now bring him over. Perfect. Now we hit tab. We select the mandrake, a magical plant that shrieks when unearthed. Mandrake can be used to stun and harm enemies. Well, let's give it a cast. Hey, they did get stunned. Nice job, mandrake. Nice job. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, now I guess we're just fighting bandits. Let's try our new cutting one. Oh, that seemed like it worked pretty well. Oh, God! Oh, she petrified me! Quick, get the mandrake out! Get the mandrake out! Hey, where did she go? No! Wait here. <laughs> Let me just get one of these ready. Assignment's all finished. Oh, it grew fast. He doesn't seem to care. We'll lift him up next to the plant and see if it does anything. There are still quite a few enemies here. Let's see if we can get them involved as well. I'm not afraid of a good time. Hey, where did your weapon go? <laughs> I really love the teleport as well. Just being able to get behind enemies all the time is super fun. Okay. She has a yellow shield. 
Expulso! Uh, Glacius didn't break it for some reason, but we're good now. We're good now. A couple more hits and they should die as well. The stupefy keeps me safe down here a little bit longer. Three more guys up here. I am ready. I want to send the stupefy their way if I can. Uh, Incendio didn't quite reach the guy in the back. Wow. We could just bully him with spells. <laughs> Sorry, what were you trying to do, sir? It just didn't work at all. It does seem like a lot of the enemies in this game just kind of scale up to meet my level. It's not like, I mean, maybe this is the case eventually, but it doesn't feel like I'm venturing into more difficult areas. It just kind of seems like poachers are poachers. Although we are starting to see a much bigger variety in the color of shields that they choose to use. I wonder if we'll continue to learn new spells. We do have quite a lot of them already. I know there are some curses in the game, but that doesn't seem like Michael Magus's style. I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. And she really likes her ice spells, huh? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, have fun in the forest. Your family's beautiful. I'm glad these poachers won't be bothering you anymore. What a gorgeous, gorgeous view of the castle. Well, I was supposed to go to my herbology class during the day. And as you can see, it's very night right now. So maybe we'll actually let Michael Magus get some rest. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed a day of our studies. It is important to expand our mind every opportunity we get. I'll see you guys again very soon. Take care. Goodbye.